Hello, and here's exactly how to buy C2 skins on Buffon 63 or UPIN, and you can buy them through a middleman or your own account. And most importantly, how to get Alipay balance, because this was a question many people were asking. First of all, I saw this video from a guy called Flary, and basically I'm gonna explain the same things as him, but the only thing is I'm going to explain how to get Alipay balance because he forgot how to explain it, but he also made a video about this. So uh, I guess credits to him. But nonetheless, let's just get started. So the chapters of this video, I'll explain all of these things. How to buy skins through a middleman on these Chinese markets, where you can find these middlemen. Then how you can buy them if you already have your own account. So if you have your own Yupin account or Buffon Sphere account, I'm also going to explain to you how you can buy them on your own account. And of course, uh, lastly, how to get Alipay balance because you need the balance to buy skins. Everything is going to be covered. Let's just start with it. First of all, these are the official links of the website. So if you are looking to buy any skins and you want to look at the market, use these links, upin898.com and buff.163.com. You also have mobile phone apps, but just search for them. This video is brought to you by Skins Monkey, the best place if you want new CS2 skins instantly and cheap. It's an automated trading site with easy filters and unlimited skins to choose from. Trading is easy, just select your skins from your inventory, then select which skins you want to trade for, click on trade items, and you're done. You can even get up to $5 completely for free for using the link in the description or my code shown on screen right now, Pili. Skins Monkey also offers you the option to buy skins for cheap. They have a standard 30% deposit bonus, but if you use my code PILI, you'll get an extra 5%. Don't forget to check out their daily giveaways in the free freebie stuff. And if you have any questions, you can ask the 24-7 live support. But for now, let's get back to the video. First, we're going to start with Jupin, how to buy skins through a middleman. If you're going to be buying skins through a middleman, here's what you need to do. Step zero is you need to choose the skin you want on Jupin. Very easy, either download the app or go to the website. Let's say I go to the website, I have it open right here. You go to the market and you uh, look for the skin that you want to buy. One thing is that if you try to search for an item, you have to be logged in, okay? So go to the top right, click on login or, or register, and you need to um, log into your account in order to use the search function. Otherwise, you can go to priceempire.com, search for a skin right here. For example, search for MP9 Starlight Protector, click on the skin, and when it loads, you will see the U, U pin price. This will also be the price on U pin. So you can tell the middleman that you want this skin. Okay. Otherwise, you need to log in to uh, search for the skin. But once you have the skin, and let's just choose one of these for an example. So let's say you want to buy this USPS. Um, it's, uh, of course, we know it's the print stream. The translation is a little bit off. It looks like this. What you then do is um, you screenshot the skin or whatever you do. Let me go to the slideshow. So step one is that you give them your trade link plus you say which skin you want. So you send your trade link, which you probably know how to find. And you say, for example, in this example, the guy said M9 Slaughter Minimal Wear. Then you say the float from your pin and then this is the price in Chinese you won. All right. That's pretty easy. Then step two is that you pay the middleman the Upin skin price plus a fee. This fee is usually only like one or two percentage. Sometimes people charge five to ten percent, but that is a little bit crazy. So please try to pay like under five percent. Try to pay like three percent, two percent. That's fine, to be honest. So you just pay the middleman, and then of course they buy the skin on Upin. I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. Okay, so you should be able to see my phone screen right now. So this is the Upin app and basically they will go to a skin. So let's say someone wanted to buy this skin right here. What they will do is they will click on the skin. They will click on this button in Chinese, which is called gift. And then they will give the skin to the inventory. So right here, they will put in the trade link. So let's just say example, trade link, da, 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 da. they will click on OK. Then uh, they will click on buy the skin and the skin will be in your inventory. That's how easy it is. Okay, let's go to step four. So, of course, then in the Upin app, the seller of the actual skin on Upin needs to send you the skin. So usually this is very quickly, but sometimes it can take a few hours. They have 12 hours in for, for them to send the skin to you. And um, it will be instantly in your inventory because they're using your trade link. One thing to take note of that if the trade is reversed, which small chance of happening right now, I think, then the balance will be returned to the middleman's Upin account. Okay, that's one thing to remember. Then Buffon 63, uh, slightly different process. How do you buy skins through a middleman? Well, step zero is to create a Buffon 63 account and log into that account. You can download the app or you can use your desktop like I'm doing. Uh, here we can see this is my account. Just We're just an account, very easy. Let's go to the next step, which is to choose the skin you want from Buffon 63. And then the second step is to pay the middleman. 
Same goes on Buffalo Street. Just go to the market, search for any skin you want. Let's let me show you an example. Let's say I want to buy this M4A for a for Neo Neuer. I would click on the skin, then I would go to the next step, which is to go to the skin page, click on buy skin, and then choose Alipay or WeChat, and then send the QR code to the middleman. It depends on uh, how the middleman wants to pay. Basically, you just click on buy on the skin that you want to buy. Then you will have to wait. And um, one thing, they need to accept Alipay or at least WeChat, okay? So this skin accepts Alipay, you can see it right there. If I click on expand and I click on Alipay, which is the most used one, click on pay. And now you'll be uh, on this screen where it will open a QR code. As you can see, you will now hear of QR code so anyone can scan this QR code and pay. Do note that you only have three minutes in order to pay, so please pay in time. Um, what you basically will do is you will send this QR code, you will screenshot it, send it to the middleman, he will pay for the thing and it will be directly in your inventory. I've also tested this myself. This is basically step four, the middleman pays the QR code and then it's just a normal process of the buyer, to, the sellers to send you the skin. It will be directly in inventory and then if the trade gets reversed, I'm not 100% sure about this, I believe the funds go back to this to the middleman's Alipay account but it could also be the case that it goes back to your Bovance Street inventory. I'm not 100% sure on this, so you like have to ask this to someone, okay? This is very quickly how to do it. Then some trusted middlemen, or at least where to find middlemen. So from the video from, from the guy I told you in the beginning, it's called Flaries, not Flakies, sorry, by the way. He said some people on Twitter, so on Twitter, if you want to buy skins through Bovance Street, you can use any one of these four people. And if you want to buy skins on Upin, you can use any one of these people. Now, I'm not saying that these people are 100% safe. This is what he recommended. I know like 50% of these, I've traded with them before and had no problems, but just uh, check your own. But these ones should be fine. And then we also have two Discord servers, which I'm going to share to you. Basically, go to the link, of the link in the description. The Discord servers will be right there. I'll also go to them right now. So you have this one and you have the other one. They both work the same. You have people... Uh, in the sell balance section right here you can see people are selling balance they wrote writing down the fees so selling you pin balance through gifting three percent fee they say they have sixteen thousand chinese you won and you can also write down if you want to buy um, want to buy balance you can just write down buying ten thousand cni for a hundred percent rate or for for or let's say for one percent fee you can just write how much you want to buy and you will get dms please be careful with people who may try to scam you only trade with people who are like uh trusted okay please be careful with this you don't want to be scammed but link in the description and there you'll find enough people okay now we go to the part which is how to buy skins on your European account if you want to use your own account okay so if you don't want to use a middleman you can do this and it's actually easier than you think but there are some requirements. The requirements are the following. You need a KYC verified Upin account in your own name and you need a verified Alipay account also in your own name. You can search tutorials on this on YouTube and it's easier than you think, but it just takes a lot of times. And sometimes, uh, you know, you get denied. So just search a video tutorial on YouTube. There are enough of these. Just search full, full guide on how to join Upin, whatever. Search it up and you'll get to this. The steps in order to do this is the first step is to get some Alipay balance. I'm going to explain you how to get balance in the end of this video. So you may skip ahead to that point if you want to. The second step is to just deposit Alipay, Alipay balance into your UPIN account. Actually, let me show you how easy this is. So you go to your UPIN account. You click on your balance on the left side, this button. Then you click on that little button on the top right of your screen. It's basically ne next to my webcam. Uh, no, right. Like, fuck my finger. Uh, it's like right there, okay? You see it? That little small button, you click on that small button, you write down the amount of Chinese you want, you want to deposit, let's say a thousand. Then you click on deposit and you'll go to the Alipay app and you can pay the thousand you want. The reason is you cannot pay with foreign cards or at least not all cards. So you need to get the balance in a specific way. And it's very easy. I'm going to explain to you in the end. But you just then deposit the money. The balance is on here and you can then just buy any skin like any normal market. That's how easy it is. Same thing, if the trade gets reversed, you receive the balance back into your account. Uh, how to buy skins on Buffalo 63 with your own account. 
Um, what you need the requirements for these are a Balfour 63 account in your own phone number and a verified Alipay account in your own name, of course. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if this one, no, it doesn't need to be your own name. The steps for this are the following. So uh, go to the skin you want to buy, check the price. So you go to the skin. Let's say I want to buy this skin. You check, okay, how much do I need for that? Then you get some Alipay balance on your Alipay account. Then you get an Alipay balance on your account. I will show you how to get this Alipay balance in the end of the video. So skip to that point if you want. Then step three is to buy the skin on Buffons 3. The same thing is going through Binowin. You're just going to click on buy here. Click on Alipay. Okay, this one doesn't accept Alipay. Click on buy on this one. Click on Alipay. Click on pay and you will see this QR code. The same thing that we saw when using the middleman, you will get that Alipay QR code. You then scan the QR code with your phone. It's, it's super easy. I've already done this. You scan the QR code with your phone and then select pay using your Alipay balance. Then you do the Steam trade, the whatever, you know, just the normal stuff. And one thing to keep note of is if the trade gets reversed, you receive the balance back into your UPIN account, if I'm correct. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to show you. I've uh, I've uh, bought some a skin on Buffon Street with my Alipay account. Let me go to my bio history. It was this one, the sticker for 002. It's very easy to do. I can, I'm not going to show you right now, but you just scan it with your phone. You go to the Alipay app and you just scan the QR code. That's how easy it is. So now let's go to the most important part. And that is how to get Alipay balance as a foreigner. Okay. The requirements for this are verified Alipay account. Plus you need a specific screenshot of your own account QR code. I'm going to explain to you this in a second. Basically, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using crypto peer-to-peer -peer platforms. So basically, you're going to sell crypto to receive Alipay balance. And it may sound complicated, but it's actually very easy. By the way, if you don't want to go through all the trouble of doing this, then you can send me a message on Discord or Telegram. I'll try to get some Alipay balance for you. I will not buy skins on Upin or Boston Street for you. I'm not really looking to do like many deals or like many big deals. I'm just, you know, if there's someone who really doesn't uh, can do this and you really want this skin, I can do it for you. But, you know, only if you really need it. Now, let me uh, explain to you how this works. So the requirements is you need a verified Alipay account and you need a screenshot of your QR code, which is shown right here. I'll show you how to get it right now. So just follow my screen. If we go here and let's search for Alipay, open Alipay app, very easy. So in the account section, in the bottom right, you see account, you see balance. This is your balance, okay? And many people try to click on recharge and try to add balance to their account. You can ask a friend, but the thing is, um, this doesn't work in my experience. People will say like that they cannot send money in this way. So what you need to do is you need to, do is you need to go to the homepage, click on pay slash receive. On the top here, paste let's receive, click on receive, and then click on save image. Now, if you go to your photos, you can see that you will now have the QR code. This one is the QR code that you will need to send to the person who's going to send your Alipay balance. So keep this in your photos and keep it handy. One thing to note is that you can only transfer about 100,000 to 200,000 Chinese won per year. So uh, I asked support and they said there's a limit at 100,000. And some accounts have limited 200,000. So if you're getting close to 100,000 or 200,000, be careful with how much Chinese you want you're going to deposit into your account. By the way, this is only in terms of payments. So you can receive a limited amount if you want, but you can only transfer 100,000 or 200,000 to one uh, Chinese you want per year out of your account. This resets on the 1st of January 2026. And there's a way to increase this limit, but I don't know how to do this right now, okay? But there is a way to do it if you really get stuck. For now, how to do this, okay? So what we're going to be doing to get the Alipay balance is we're gonna sell crypto. And we're gonna do this by using a peer-to-peer -peer market. This is either going to be Binance or no ones. These are the ones that I've been using, or at least Binance, I can't use that one because it's not available in my country. And no ones is the only one that was available in my country, but it does charge a 1% fee. So this one, I do not recommend it. Although uh, if you can choose Binance, then I, I, I found this one to be the best one. Now your first step is to do KYC on the platform. So either on Binance, if you already have account or on no ones, you can do about 400 to $800 in, in transactions before you need to do your KYC. Keep that in mind. Then you need to deposit USDT onto the peer-to-peer -peer platform. I'll show you here. I have um, Binance open here. So Binance peer-to-peer. -peer. 
you can just search Binance Peer to Peer on Google and you'll go to this website. This is how it looks. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to sell USDT and then we're going to, for the currency, it's Chinese Yuan, which is like this. And for the payment method, it's Alipay. Make sure to click on Alipay. And now you see all the offers here. So basically what this is saying is that if you sell, <coughs> sorry, if you sell one USDT, you will receive 7.13 Chinese Yuan. And if we go to the exchange rate, currently one USDT is worth 7.1 uh, Chinese Yuan. So you're actually getting a slight discount, which is a good thing. You're getting more money than, you, than you're paying. What you will then just do is load up money into your this account, check someone who has like a nice amount of orders and a good amount of completion, click on sell USDT, and then <clears throat> I'm going to explain you the process in one moment. Okay, so after you click on sell your USDT, then what you do is you send them this specific QR code, they pay the QR code, you check if you received the Alipay balance, and then if you did receive it, then you click on the traders completed on the website and they will receive the money. That's how easy it is and that's how easy you can get the LP balance. I'm going to show you an example right now. So for example, it doesn't matter if you use Binance or any website, all the things, it everything works the same, okay? So I went on to no ones and if you go to peer-to-peer -peer trading, same thing, click on sell USDT, Chinese you want, Alipay, and then check all the offers here. So I chose one of these offers. These offers are a little bit worse. It's unfortunate. So you're paying about a 1.5% fee. Uh, make sure, you know, one thing to note is that the 1% fee included. So this is the real rates. Don't look at the rates that are shown right here because this is without the 1% fee, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, this is one of the transactions. Basically, I clicked on sell. I chose the amount, so you click on sell. I want to receive a thousand Chinese you won, like this. Then you click on confirm and sell. Then you will be opened with a chat like this. All you then need to do is go on your phone, go to the screenshot that we took, the screenshot from the Google slide uh, field page earlier, this screenshot, send it to them. They will then send you the Alipay balance. And that's how easy it is. You then click on the trade is completed once you've received the balance. That's how easy it is. Sometimes people will cancel the trades for some reason. Nothing to do nothing to do about that. That's just unfortunate, okay? By the way, subscribe to the channel if you found this useful. Otherwise, thank you for watching.